bioluminescence. Some sea creatures can make two different chemicals inside a special body part called a photophore. And when they mix them together, they make a glowing light. It's kind of like a glow stick. Two chemicals inside, and when mixed, it glows. Why do so many sea fish have it? Jimmy, quick, shine the light there. Go closer. Okay, so I know those zooplankton glow to find each other and stick together in the deep sea. That's one reason for bioluminescence, communication. And the deep sea shrimp knows they do that, so they're attracted to lights hoping to get a meal. But bigger predators know that little predators, like the shrimp, do this. So, another use of bioluminescence, hunting. That anglerfish has a built-in fishing pole. Wow, he really fooled that shrimp. And there's a third use of bioluminescence, defense. Wow, there are so many uses for bioluminescence. It's only one of the most important chemical reactions in the sea. And you know what that means. I do? It means I've got to figure out bioluminescence for my next creature power suit. I guess it's up to you and me to find the Lost Crab Brothers. Do I have to do everything around here? Wow. Ha, a dragonfish. We hit the jackpot, bro. These guys are the masters of bioluminescence. They use it for everything. Tell me about it. Those photophores on the side are for communication with other dragonfish. He can turn them on at will when he has something to say. And the light on the tip of the barbel is sometimes used to confuse predators. But mostly, it's used as a fishing pole. And wait, what's that under his eyes? Oh, gotta scan this. Whoa! It's a special red light, a spy light, that other fish down here can't see. Humans can't see it either. <gasps> so dragonfish have invisibility power. They're like spies. They can see with that light, but other fish, like predators and prey, can't see them. Wow. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, bro? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think we're thinking the same thing. Aviva, come in. Dragon chasers here. Dragon chasers? We need a dragonfish suit. They have the coolest bioluminescence. Dragonfish? Okay, I'm already working on bioluminescence, so no problem. How's the firefly disc going? Just need to infuse the disc with bioluminescence. Wow, you figured out the formula for bioluminescence that easily? Well, there was one mishap along the way. Yeah, this mishap. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. But we learned that the firefly, or lightning bug, mixes two chemicals, luciferin and luciferase, with oxygen inside its belly to create a glow. That's how they do it, and how we do it, too. Excellent! Let's go rescue them! Can't rush out yet! We may be able to mimic Blinker's flash pattern, but we still don't know if the lightning bugs will follow it. Oh, it'll work. I'll sneak in there as a firefly and bust them out of jail. Great escape style! Up for grabs! Check it out, an ivory billed woodpecker! What, really? That could be the only one left. Looks like we're doing the creature rescue my way. I say we study these lightning bugs more and make sure we can lure them away from Danita by copying their flash patterns. Sounds good. Meet me there when you're ready. Activate Firefly Power! I'm gonna wing it! Fireflying! Mind the out! I'm fine, guys! I'm gonna save the planet with Creature Powerful! <laughs> Why didn't it open? <laughs> uh, looks like you're too small to activate the automatic door. Thanks, dude! I knew it! Danita's made it back to her mansion in the mountains. I'll be right behind you, bro. How long until the second disc is ready? I'm gonna need about 30 minutes. I have to reset the system before I output it. That gives me time to test the pattern to see if you actually do follow it. I've spotted a firefly in the tall grass, flashing irregularly. It may be injured. 
going in to see if everything's all right. Oh, yo, dude, give it to me up high. Huh? Oh, whoa, is it something I said? Wait a second, you're not the average firefly. You're not a Fatina species. You're a Voturus species. What? Clever. You tricked me. You make the same flashing patterns of the female Fatina species to lure males in and eat them. Ah, must stop her from trying to eat me. Okay, you two, break it up, break it up. Let me at her. Martin, stay focused. You've got thousands of fireflies to rescue. Now go! To the creature rescue! Wow, they look so alien. They are beautiful. Martin, <gasps> don't get too close. Remember, they have stingers on their tentacles to protect themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. What is their secret to living forever? We have to look closer. Is the secret in the Medusa or the polyp stage? Actually, bro, I got this one covered. There's the secret. Look. The healthy jellyfish floats around happily. And then sometimes, after a few months, its tentacles and outer jelly disintegrate and are reabsorbed into the body, leaving just a little nub called a polyp, which is its early growth stage. From there, it begins to regrow into its next stage, Medusa, continuing to grow into an adult. The same jellyfish repeats this process over and over again, and thus can live forever. Got it. Programming complete. Pressing power disks. Blind in, Jimmy. Energize. Teleport. Activate, Activate immortal, immortal jellyfish, jellyfish power. power. <laughs> oh, we have immortal jellyfish powers. We can live forever! And that means we can creature adventure forever!